guys and welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here and you're into 3d printing photography drones tags and whatever interests me start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you won't miss anything would you believe that the intro you just saw wasn't shot with a dji drone yeah it wasn't shot with a dji drone it was shot probably with the best drone so far from holy stone and i'm talking about the hs 900 let's roll the intro and let's talk about it YouTube is now full of videos, beautiful drone shots, and let's say 90% of them, probably 95% of them, are coming from DJI drones. I mean, I own a DJI Mini 4 Pro, I use it, I bring it on, on vacation, and uh, the moment I received this drone in my mail, I said, okay, I'm gonna try and bring it. I wasn't expecting for much, I reviewed previous drones from Holy Stone. They were fine. No three-axis gimbal though. This had a three-axis gimbal and I was like very curious to test it out. All the images you've seen in the intro were shot with this drone. HS900 from Holy Stone. It's a less than 250 grams drone, 4K with a three-axis gimbal. And uh, I was impressed by the quality by the stabilization, by the ease of use. It also has intelligent modes, but usually I don't test them, I hate them also because if they don't come from DJI, I mean, uh, these companies can compete with DJI, but not on intelligent flying mode because they have different, uh, different connection types. This is all GPS based, yeah, it has follow me, it has like drony. Uh, I'm not gonna dive into that. I mean, these are functions that whoever buys a drone that don't, doesn't use them, I mean, they don't use them. What I was interested in was, can I go on holiday and get home with good quality video that I can use on my YouTube video? And the answer is yes. We're talking about a drone that with the discounts can come less than $300. All the links for your reference, by the way, will be down in the description. It's a drone that kept me happy. I only got one battery. It was flying for 25 minutes. And uh, the results when I went home, like pictures and at the same time videos, surprised me. I mean, the video most of all because of uh, the, like it was stable, like, uh, and I was, I was shocked when I saw it because I wasn't, I was expecting for a three axis gimbal, maybe with a little bit of help of electronic stabilization, but the result that came out of the video, like really impressed me. I mean, of course, uh, like the sharpness of the image compared to a DJI, but we're not talking about the same price point again. We're talking about a competitor of DJI, Holy Stones are like, they do drones, but of course they cannot compete with DJI. So I wasn't expecting to do a comparison. I've seen many videos online saying this is a DJI killer. This could be the DJI killer, but with a catch. Like a lot of friends of mine, also family, they're asking what drone can I start with? And what I used to suggest was the DJI 4K Mini, which we're talking about a starting point of 400 euros tops. I'm not gonna suggest that anymore. I'm gonna suggest this, because the, like, the learning curve of this will be even better when they decide to switch. So I think this is a perfect drone for a beginner that intends to step up to a DJI drone in the future. Unboxing was extremely uh, satisfying. I mean, it comes with this beautiful carry case with uh, Holy Stone brand. Inside uh, the, um, the carrying case, you find the remote controller, which I loved because, because of this. You have this screwing in. I think they copied this from, uh, from DJI drones, even if it's something I don't actually love because you have to remember to close them here you put your phone antenna up 
and you get all the cables, USB-C, lightning for any phone you have. Let's have a look at the drone. Here is the drone. You unfold it like a DJ Mini 4 Pro. It comes with a, a gimbal cover that you take off like this. And this is the three axis gimbal camera. Battery is here on the back, it comes out. I would suggest you to buy more than one battery. It, I was flying for 25 minutes straight. There was no wind though. I mean, I, I believe that if in a windy condition, probably you'll get 18 to 20 minutes of flight, but it's always good to have a, a spare uh, smart batteries. This is a, a smart battery because uh, an intelligent battery because it's like it, uh, the on and off of the drone comes out of this battery so you can there's no way to plug in the drone without the battery inside you put it in you hold and press and the drone is on i did some basic calibration some gyroscopic uh, calibration before flying and usually it asks for it if you change location and if the magnetic poles are much different from the last one i suggest you to keep the firmware update that's something that holy stone holy stone released one couple of months ago and i had i was on the last one so i suggest you do that you can charge a drone by using the usb-c here on the back and uh, there's an sd slot sd card slot i was using uh, 128 gigabytes and it was holding it so I think the software inside is pretty strong enough to get a high speed uh, SD card and it worked good. Uh, I, I like that. I was afraid that considering the, like, the drone build, it would have not got the SD card like so speed and so big, so fast and so big, but it actually worked. As you probably know, this is not a regular review. I mean, I felt I had to do this because I actually love the drone. I mean, it's uh, it's something that, uh, again, it surprised me. And it surprised me because the quality this drone is delivering is very high end. And I'm sure that 90% of you, when they saw the intro, were thinking this is a DJI drone. No way, this is a Holy Stone. And there was no, uh, color correction right, like straight out of the um, of the of the SD card I just added the bars on the bottom and on the top so just for you to have an idea on the quality that this can actually deliver also on picture wise it has 48 megapixel it's one third of um, uh, 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 of an inch sensor and that delivers extremely detailed uh, uh, images like the images you're seeing now about the sunset this was very low light i mean we were on the ground and it, it, like the camera compensated and gave this beautiful atmosphere and this beautiful look what about in great light with the sun that's where this camera shines of course in day bright light bright light the like the sensor gives beautiful output video quality is what i am interested in when i buy a, a drone or when i consider a drone i'm gonna look if the image is sharp and if it's stable if if the horizon line is uh, straight this is something I, I i look into a drone whenever i start and uh, that makes a difference and that that's just like this thin line that divides consumer drone like toy drones from dji semi-pro drones i mean that that's a line you have to cross in order to be considered like a decent drone to be used for holidays or for content so wrapping up i cannot find a uh, a con in this uh, in this drone the only thing is like i had to register on holy stone to activate the drone um, um, nothing else i mean of course i didn't use a lot of the uh, smart modes droney and stuff like that the automatic modes because i'm not a fan of them i love doing that manually this is my opinion best drone that holy stone ever made I mean, or at least the one I've tested so far. It's a great drone for beginners. 
it's below $300 or euros. Again, all the links will be down in the description for your reference. It's a complete drone and perfect for a beginner. This drone doesn't have geo restriction. That means it flies everywhere. So guys, you need to fly with consciousness. I mean, I know DJI blocks you in a lot of areas. Here in Brindisi, we are like, I'm basically in an airport. It's uh, all uh, no fly zone. So I cannot fly. I need to fly, I need to drive like 10 kilometers outside town to start flying. But with this drone, I was flying in my garden. Of course, respecting all the laws without going further up than 50 meters because we're very close to an airport. But remember this, keep in mind that you need to fly safe, respecting all the local regulations, give an eye on them. If you can get your pilot driving license study, we're not talking about many, like we're not talking about 1000 pages books. We don't, we're talking about small stuff that it's good to know and, uh, uh, and be aware of, especially if a policeman stops you, which usually they know less than what you do. So that's good to know. That was all for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Smash the like button if you did like the video. Subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. And I'll see you guys on the next video.